What's up guys, it's Fahrenheit, and today I'm going to talk about Avengers Endgame, okay? This is going to be just my impressions of the movie, it's going to be spoiler free, right? I'm going to do a spoiler one after this, but um, in this one I'm just going to give my basic impressions on how I felt about the movie and give a basic synopsis of it, or summary or whatever. So yeah, let's just jump right into it. Avengers Endgame, it is the part two to Avengers Infinity War. So it takes place after Infinity War where Thanos acquired all of the Infinity Stones and snapped away half of the universe's populace. In Endgame, we get to see what the world looks like after those events took place and how our heroes are handling it now that it's happened. And what do they plan to do about it and if there is anything they can do about it. Now, there are so many things about this movie that pretty much would just constitute a spoiler. Um, so there's so much I can't say, you know, because like before I went to go to see the movie, I knew that there were so many things that I didn't know. I went in so cold and I'm glad that I did. I didn't want to know really anything about the movie. And so pretty much every single thing I saw was something new. And that was the best way for me to go into the movie. So I, I, there's so much, I really pretty much can't say really anything about the movie. So I'll just jump right into, you know, how I felt about it and, and do I think the movie did, uh, what it what it did well, what it was attempting to do, um, and just right off the rip, yes, I think the movie is excellent, I think it's an excellent movie, um, especially if you've been following these movies up until this point, honestly, uh, if there's any criticism I would give it, I, I don't really know how someone who hasn't been following these movies, you know, for the past 10 years or so, you know, how they would respond to it, I mean, some really cool stuff happens, the movie's really cool, but it really revels in its, 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 history like its lineage that they built up within the mcu all the all this time since like what is it 2008 with iron man it really it really builds around a lot of that or, or uses that structure that it's created and you know if you've watched all those movies then there's so many references and stuff you'll, you'll probably see and, and it'll be really cool because you'll know like the easter eggs and you'll see why certain things are important and if you didn't see say like the first avengers or you know you know maybe Thor, uh, or, or something like that, you know, then it might not matter as much to you if you didn't see the first Captain America movie, you know, there are certain things that you, you won't really catch, so it's, it's, there's certain things that you really won't be able to, uh, appreciate the same way if you didn't watch, um, the majority, if not all the other movies, um, it, although if you did watch Infinity War, which a lot of people did, you still get that, you know, that story, you know, wrapping that up, and so you still get that, it's just so much, because the movie's three hours and some change, but I think you still enjoy the movie, but I think that's something that I, I'm not sure from a perspective, because I've seen all the other movies, so I don't know someone who hadn't seen them all, quite how they would feel about the movie, you know, because for me, it just oozes with so many things, so many references, and, and, and it's really cool, and there's so much I just can't say about it, so I think it's really awesome, it's, it's action-packed, it's funny, you know, it's, um, you know, a lot of personality, you get to see how the characters have changed throughout the years, which of course matters more if you've seen them in the past, you know, you get to see that contrast of how they used to be compared to how they are. Honestly, I feel like for everything they attempted to do, it was on point, the, the, the CGI was on point, the, the, the choreography was really good, um, pretty much all the jokes hit, you know, the characters were witty when they needed to be, you know, things were very dire, they, they, this is one of the things I really like how Marvel does, and they've done it in their movies, and they've done it in their Netflix uh, shows, um, like with Daredevil and stuff like that, where they're able to find, even in, in, in those situations where it's dire and sad, somehow they could still find a certain hint of humor that kind of alleviates a little bit the tension and that's that's so good you know they're able to be able to kind of still throw a little humor in there and, it, and it's not it's it's certain types of humor and they know how to get that certain type of humor in there to kind of like alleviate a little bit of tension so you know it's not just dark and grim with no humor at all and I think that's good because I think in real life that's how it would be people you know, they, they mistake dark and gritty for real life but in re reality that's not life, you know, people will try to find the humor in things, and some people, when they're uncomfortable, they crack jokes, and they, 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 they're sarcastic, and that's, you, you get these kind of different personality types, and these little, these little things like that, and you get a little bit of humor to kind of alleviate the tension, and they're really good about that, even though an end game is such a, the, the, the stakes are so high, and it, it's, you would think it would be no time for joking, but they, they're able to, 
get a little bit of that in there and i think it's really well done and and, and they pretty much all hit and even if they don't they move so quick that it's like pff, whatever you're you're, you're on to the next one um that's another thing even at three hours and some change the movie is very tight i think everything that happened pretty much needed to happen like i feel like it was it was there was no fat on this movie which is it's it's great as a finale um and and the russo brothers they even mentioned you know in an interview like hey um they were asked you know is there a director's cut five hour version or whatever like you know with like Zack snyder's movies like the the justice league and all that and it's like they were like no no the three hour version that is the final version that's it that's the one that's the movie that you see is the movie that they made and that's that's the concise that's the version there is nothing else and i'm like you know what that's good because that means they put their best foot forward that means this is the best there is this is all there is this is their vision this is the this is the product that they created this is the product that the team created and and it it's it's it doesn't need to be longer necessarily because longer doesn't necessarily constitute to better it could just be more fat and 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 more convoluted but they have something very tight very concise for the three hours and some change that it is and i applaud them for that it's really well done um everything that happens feels like it needed to happen or it led into something so yeah i if i'd give it a a a, a subjective score uh, my personal score i'd say a nine for me but if i would give an objective score maybe like more for a general audience uh, i mean i'd, I'd go in an eight i'll go just like a, a, a just a simple eight you know whether you've seen if you've seen all the previous movies i feel like this would probably be more like it it would be like an eight or nine regardless i think i think it's an easy one if you didn't see all of the other movies i really don't know where to place you on this maybe you might still be in an eight range i'm not really sure maybe it might feel a little bit too long because not every reference makes sense to you so maybe it might drop it down to a seven i'm not really sure um but nine for me as an object a subjective score eight for an objective score um still excellent movie um i mean most people probably already saw i actually saw it on um opening weekend which is probably the this is the first time i've actually done that um for any movie i think ever and i made a point to do it and it was difficult because it was pretty much all sold out um but i was able to get a seat pretty decent spot and it was in 3d so that was cool that was the first time i've ever been in 3d the only other thing i would say is um and this is no this is nothing against the movie is that the 3D, and this is just a 3D thing, this is the first time I've done 3D, and it was dark, it was a little bit too dark, and that was kind of, it was kind of weird, it's like tent on the glasses, and so that's a little strange, because it makes the movie look too dark, and I remember hearing some people um, had complaints with Black Panther about that, and, and people I've talked to were like, I don't understand why people complaining about it being too dark, now I see this may be why maybe some people saw it in 3D and it was just it it does make movies darker I guess because it did it with with uh with this movie for me with Endgame um so that was kind of weird but the 3D effects really cool again this is not this doesn't have anything to do with this movie specifically but how this movie utilizes it is pretty cool you know there's instances where things will fly at you and I kind of like jump back and I was like oh you know, like the 3D effect is really cool. I do think that is a cool thing. It just it could use some improvement because it's it's too dark. And I was pretty close. I was like five rows back or something like that. So I was straining my eyes for like three plus hours and I had a headache for the rest of the day. But it was worth it. <laughs> it was worth it. I couldn't get any work done that day because I couldn't look at a screen anymore. But it was worth it to see the movie and it was really dope. They do utilize the 3D effects pretty well. But um, overall, yeah, excellent movie. Go see it. If you're thinking about seeing it, you're probably going to go see it anyway. If you're going to go see any of the Marvel movies, this is the one. This is it. This is the finale. You know, Avengers Endgame. That's my impressions on it. Spoiler-free review or, uh, yeah, review, impressions, whatever. Um, and that's it, guys. I've been Fahrenheit. I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm out.